right, welcome to I Am The Light. My name is Tasha and I'll be reading for the sign of Leo. Hi Leo babies, how you doing? Happy 2024. So we're gonna jump right in. We're gonna start with your spiritual message. <clears throat> I'm going to start with a smaller deck for the spiritual messages. We're going to just go straight to the heavy hitters. This, this particular deck is nothing but the majors. So I like it. Um, I just got it. Um, and I love it. It's a, I don't know. The messages that have come out with just the majors have been very um, inspiring. Some of them sometimes they, they, are, they are they truth hitters. They, so let's, let's just get right to it. If you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. If you like what I'm doing, please do hit the like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell and you'll know when I upload. And I do appreciate anybody who hits the like button because it just gets the message out to more people. Helps the channel to grow and that will be appreciated. have for cancer spirit spiritual message sun moon and rock i mean excuse me not cancer lord caught myself i just finished cancer excuse me leo spirit what do you have for leo sun moon and rising leo none of the cards feel leo that was a slip of the tongue y'all what's going on for leo spirit what spiritual message do you have for my leo sun moon and rising what message do you have for my leo sun moon and rising what is it the spirit really wants leo to keep in mind for the upcoming week hermit some of you guys are getting ready to take some time to be by yourself you're going to take some time for some introspection yeah you're going to you're going some of y'all are going through a spiritual awakening right now and so you're going to be doing a lot of self-reflection and a lot of personal growth is getting ready to start for you during this hermit's uh, period. Um, you're going to utilize this uh, period of enlightenment to reconnect with your soul and you're going to gain greater insights into your true potential. Okay, so some of y'all are taking some time for introspection in your harmony. Okay. You have the uh, death card here. Some of you guys, yeah, I told you. Some of y'all are going through a spiritual awakening. And when you're going through a spiritual awakening, sometimes you have, um, with the death card here, um, that's a spiritual transformation as well. So you're getting ready to go through some sort of unexpected change. And it's about to lead to a brand new beginning. And sometimes those shifts can be traumatic, but they often lead to a newfound uh, lease on life. So you're getting ready to go into hermit mode, going through some sort of spiritual awakening. And this spiritual transformation is really going to shake up some things. And that's actually a good thing that is going to, uh, shake up some things here for you. Now, emperor, um, this is good. The emperor, this is normally somebody who is older. They're good at business. They're normally wealthy. They're solid, stable, and consistent. This is somebody who is powerful, grounded, and very much a protector. So if you're hermiting and you're going through a spiritual transformation, Leo, and you're going through, you know, that death energy. Death energy is not morbid. Death is transformation, baby. So y'all getting ready to transform into emperors. Congratulations. That means that that is, y'all have leveled up. Y'all taking some time with spirit because y'all can really level up. And this is, so, ah, I'm so excited. Oh my God. I did not even know. Oh my God, Leo, y'all have the hair fine. This is so exciting. Listen, I love it because with the hair fine here, some of y'all, you know, the hair fine has to do with tradition, religion, um, whether, you know, whatever your tradition is, whether it be religion, government, marriage, medical, whatever. It can represent a counselor and mentor who will provide you wisdom, guidance, or some sort of spiritual advisor, the hair fine here. So y'all, like I said, this is a spiritual awakening, and this is so exciting. Some of y'all are getting ready to, like I said, you're getting ready to meet your goals. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, the magician is here. Some of y'all have all the tools you need to walk right into this emperor status. Woo, so you're going to take some time to yourself. 
as you're going through the rest of this transformation that spirit is getting ready to bring you into this is amazing this is so good Oh my God, All your, you have everything you need. You have the intellect, you have the concentration, you got the willpower. You can manifest this outcome any way you see fit. Leo, woo! Y'all about to go through a very powerful spiritual transformation that is going to put y'all in a position of power. Y'all going to be emperors, honey. Y'all going to have the money, the power, the status, and you're going to, you're going, you're going. Whatever, say goodbye to your old life, Leo, because you're getting ready to walk into the emperor, honey. That's a shot caller right there, okay? You're going to call the shots. You're going to know what to do. So that's a good spiritual message. Y'all going through some things. You're going to get quiet. You're going to get to yourself. But by being quiet and being to yourself, you're going to level up. All right, Leo. Go ahead and do what you do. Transform, baby into your best and higher self because that's what it was looking like you transform it into your best self and it's like you're letting spirit lead you to do it you're not just hermoning by yourself you hermoning with spirit and you're undergoing and letting them wash away the things that don't serve you so you can walk into that emperor status oh i feel it oh i feel it oh good job leo good job all right what's going on with leo's in love What's going on with Leo's love life lately? What's going on with Leo's this week in love? I hope it's as good as that uh, spiritual message. Since y'all leveling up. Shoot, y'all. What are y'all doing? Some of y'all becoming entrepreneurs. What y'all doing? Spiritual leaders, teachers. What y'all got going on, Leo? Because y'all moving into a position of power. What's going on with Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Love? Woo! All right, all right. Y'all got the moon with the fool, the world. Ooh, and the two of cups. It's in reverse. Hmm. At the bottom of the deck, we had the Ace of Swords in reverse. Mm. And then the Ten of Swords is in reverse at the bottom. I mean, at the top of the deck. Okay, so with the moon here, with the fool, with the fool, somebody don't realize that they they don't see that they get ready to have a. Somebody's about to take a huge leap of faith, and they didn't even know that they get ready to take so. So there's about to be a major change, and you did not even. No, somebody about to get a new start that they don't even see is about to begin. Sometimes that happens in life. Sometimes that happens in life. You can, one decision can change everything. And sometimes we don't see that this one thing was going to lead to something else. And I know for sure, because look, y'all did have spiritual transformation in y'all spiritual message. So yeah, somebody doesn't see that there is about to be a major, major change. Somebody's going to take a leap of faith and something is going to end. Okay, with the world card. When the world card is here, that means something, you're going to leave something from your past uh, behind um, and you're going to step forward and there's going to be a major change. Something new is going to um, happen with the world. Something has come to an end, so something new can begin. Now, with the two of cups here in reverse, this could have taken place in a friendship, partnership, or love relationship. So there is a major change that somebody did not see coming in a relationship okay with this ace of swords now i don't every reader is different spirit now i listen some of y'all will jump in uh different readers comments and say that's not what that card means that's not what this means but see y'all don't have to understand and any reader um that reads knows that we gotta take our interpretation sometimes as our guides lead us so sometimes you will you can, you can break away from the traditional meaning of a card. <clears throat> Everybody sees stuff differently. So for me, um, when I see the Ace of Swords in reverse, um, it has a lot, I mean, yeah, it can have a lot of meaning. But for me, if I see that and it's talking about a relationship, um, either somebody was lying about something or it could mean that something is the final over, over. 
finally over over. And so what I mean by that is like, ain't no coming back from it. From this point on, I'm leaving you over here and I'm going over here and I'm never coming back towards you. We could co-parent, we could do this, we could do that, but we're not moving. It's, it's just, the, it's a different dynamic with dealing with whatever that is going forward. Um, with this Ace of Swords, so something is coming to a close. Somebody did not see that it was coming to a close. They didn't see that something was getting ready to end. Now, with the Ten of Swords in reverse, though, somebody, though, might not want it to be over. Because I see with the Ten of Swords here, and on this particular date, there's the divorce certificate papers on the table. And the person looks like they're walking out the door. But one person may not want this ending so we're going to look further into it so let's see let's clarify let's go ahead and let's just jump right in <sighs> what do i want to clarify first let's clarify the world this ending this leading to a new beginning spirit what can you tell me about this world yeah, let's let's talk about the world. What's going on with the world? Clarify the world. All right. Yeah, whoever whoever is going through this transformation to on this particular world card, this girl looked like she, she this particular dress that she or whatever she looked like a belly dancer on this world card. But honey, when she raises, I'm, I'm gonna show it to you. When she raises her arms up, you you see this. It looks like she got her wings. Okay, I told y'all in the spiritual message, somebody was get, going into that empress. So it looks like somebody here is gaining their wings with this ending. So let's see what's going on. What is going on, spirit? Because this person looks like they stepping into their power with this ending. Clarify the world. Yep, something is getting ready to balance out for them. They're about to have justice. Mm -hmm. Justice in a partnership. Get ready to get some communication and whatever communication is, comes through is going to cause a tower. Clarify that two of cups, please, in reverse. Yeah, somebody wants to come back and talk about something. They want to come back to the chaos and the confusion. They want to travel back towards you after an ending. Clarify that two of swords. Yeah. Somebody feels like, ooh, they want a new, uh, with the ace of pentacles, somebody might want some sort of new start, a new beginning. They want to plant a new seed with you. I told you one person don't want it to end. Somebody sees that there is some good luck or new money. Um, yeah, they want to change things around. Ooh. So one person wants to uh, come back, revisit the conflict. They want to plant a new seed. They want things to move in a more positive direction. Will of fortune reverse? But then the queen of swords is here in reverse. So somebody might be dealing with some sort of air sign here. <clears throat> What's my air? Uh, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Ain't no love. Ain't no love. Somebody, one person looks like they want to come back with the Queen of Cups is in reverse. Somebody, somebody, um, whoa, yeah, whoa. So one person wants to work on it. Another person wants to cut it off. King of Swords. Yeah, somebody wants to, that, so it looks like the Queen of Cups, somebody who may have, um, me, yeah. An air sign wants to work it out. I mean, uh, Lord, I said an air sign. Lord, forgive me. I'm talking about the cups. Cups have to do with water. Excuse me, Leo. Lord, sometimes I be moving so fast. It's like my brain, Lord. Anyway, cups. We talking about the queen of cups. That's my water sign. That'll be Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So, excuse me. And you might be dealing with an air sign with this king of swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. So, uh... Some water sign wants to work on it with an air sign. 
So, Cancer, do y'all want to work at something out with somebody that's an air sign, but they going to cut you off here with this King of Swords? Tell me more about this Ace of Swords, please. Tell me more about the Ace of Swords, Spirit. Yeah, this is somebody that you was in partnership with. This is somebody who it was like love was overflowing. It felt like y'all was two peas in a pod at one time. And they don't want to juggle anymore. Clarifying this Ace of Swords. What else for the Ace of Swords? Yeah, so they have a plan. So somebody, even though there was a definite ending here, it looks like somebody else, though, is going to try to come back around. They want a new start. That's what you, that might be what this moon was out here for. Somebody wants a new start. Their plan is to, yeah, they've been heavily thinking about this with this hang, this hangman. They know that they came at you wrong. Judgment reverse. They feel like you're not going to show them mercy. They want to talk though. They feel like somebody here was like a bitch to the other person. Uh, with this queen of swords and they but they want to come in and uh they're in their head because they don't think that mercy is going to be shown but they want to revisit it they want to they want to work on it they want a new start maybe that's what you didn't see coming after an ending somebody wants an, a brand new start clarify um the ten of swords reverse yeah, somebody feels like since they've been out here, they've been alone. <laughs> and they feel like they want to come back from the Ten of Swords reverse, which has to do with an ending. Uh, but reverse, they don't want an ending. Because they, I guess they didn't get out in these streets, honey. So they're going to turn around with this Nine of Cups. And they realize that they ain't getting their wish fulfillment without you. They feel like they are alone. They are dead without you. They feel like they even though... Something here may look like manipulation. They don't, you know, even if they had to manipulate the situation, they don't like being cut closed off from you. Yeah, they do not like being closed off from you. They feel like things, are, they have been completely closed off from you, and they don't like it. They do not like it, uh, Leo. They do not like being closed off from you. They want to come back towards you. They don't like it. That's what you don't see. Somebody that you had a complete ending with and it was done, done over. Like, I never want to, I never want to do this again with you. But one person, whoever your person was, they get ready to circle back, baby. Because they don't like it. They didn't got out here in these streets and they don't, it ain't worth it. <laughs> okay, Spirit, give me just three more cards and then we're going to uh, wrap this up. Give me three more cards about what this person, what Leo can expect. And then we're going to move into the shadow message. <clears throat> yep. The fool is out here twice. So the message is repeating. Somebody is very confident um, that you're going to have a lot of options. Ooh, that's at the seven of cups is at the bottom. They're very confident that you're going to get a new start with lots of options. And if they don't, they're going to be left out in the cold. So they feel like if they don't come towards you, they're going to be left out of the cold. So they want to go back to the Three of Cups energy where y'all was friends, y'all was happy, y'all was celebrating, y'all came together. It was a lot of fun with you. They want to go back to that, and they're confident that they can get it back there. If you would just let down your guard with that Seven of Wands, let down your defenses. They feel like you, <clears throat> your defenses are up. You just need to remember that y'all were the lovers at one point. And things with you moved quickly and things were good. Everything was good. Sex was good. Everything was good. When y'all was together, they found you very sexy, attractive. And they tired of you not giving them no acknowledgement. Y'all are family. Um, they want their wish fulfillment, ten of cups with you, your ultimate happiness. But they want to do this before your options come in. They got to heal this before, yep, world card is here again. Somebody is afraid that you're going <clears> to, <throat> that you, that they only have so much time before you find someone new. You're about to go out here, Leo, and you're going to have a lot of options available to you. And so they got to come in, <coughs> excuse me. 
they got to come in before these options come. So they're going to try to heal whatever ending y'all had, Leo, before you run off and get a lot of options to move on from them. Be careful. I cut, I opened up the uh, deck and it says the devil. So this is somebody who might use some sort of manipulation to get you back because the seven of swords is out here. They see that you're closed off from him, but they're going to be manipulative. They think they can get away with, with something after being closed off and they might come across as toxic. This is somebody who might try to bind you up somehow, uh, play the situation, like play you like a puppet. So you might want to be careful, Leo, because the devil, it, like I said, it just showed up and I just opened the deck like that. Yeah, but whatever it is, though, they do want to end the conflict here with the five of wands in reverse. That is for sure. And they want to end this conflict before these options. You get out here and you start seeing it. Yeah, you really are single. And don't forget, you was in that emperor energy. So before you get the, too much in your power, let me get back over here <laughs> to Leo. Before they run off and um, find somebody new. I got to fix this quickly before they get all these new options since we didn't end things. And they get out here in these streets. Let's look at the shadow. And then we're going to go into the love message. I got to find my tablet. I don't know where it is. Okay. Okay, uh, Spirit, what can you tell me? What's the shadow side of what's going on with Leo's uh, love life right now? What's going on in this particular situation that Leo needs to know? What's shadow? What's the shadow? What's really going on? What's, yep, starting over in reverse. Somebody... Um, Somebody don't want, look, your ex is back. They want to try again. Told you. So one person knows that something has ended and they want back in. They see you got, I'm telling you, mirrors in reverse. So they feel like, I guess you guys used to mirror each other um, in your behaviors, but now they want to act like they didn't transform, that they that they not going to act like that no more. They're going to try to act like, I guess, a better version of themselves. One other person feels like, <clears throat> again, you might be undecided, like you need to choose between two, two lovers, two people. They feel like that you're going to have them competing for your affection, which did come out in the tarot. Somebody thought that you was getting ready to have a lot of options. So they have to come in before they're competing for your affection. Exposed. Somebody feels like um, they have been exposed. They're in danger of a heartbreak. Their heart was fragile. They may have been too open at one time. Somebody is being, ooh, sneaky snake. Somebody's been going behind your back. You feel like they've been being some sort of deceit is here. Somebody's being real sneaky, real sneaky. Other loves. Still involved with the past cheating secret affection. Oh my goodness. Somebody feels like you are still, you might have went back. Listen, so, somebody here is saying that there was a third party. They feel like uh, there was some cheating, some secrets, some other lovers, maybe someone. Leo, y'all get out here and y'all talk to lots of people. Do y'all be out here in these streets? You know, but it did say you had a lot of options coming to you, but somebody feels like, yeah, brief affair. They feel like, woo, brace for a sudden ending, short but sweet, can't last. So whatever this was that y'all had, it was. Uh, they feel like y'all being separated may have been a brief affair. Um, it was short. But one person feels like it can't last. Um, last uh, message here, Ben Burn. Somebody's afraid to love someone after um, somebody feels like they've been burned by you. Either Leo, you've been burned or the person's been burned. And they feel like there was that they have not healed from that type of trauma and they want to run away. So one person... It's looking like this is like a runner chaser type energy, which might have to do with like a twin flame union. Now that didn't come out, but the two of cups was here, which can talk about twin flames and that shit, excuse me, I didn't mean to cuss. That was in reverse. It was in reverse. It, it came out in reverse. So somebody wanted to end 
a relationship, but it's looking like the other person's getting ready to chase you. Somebody you had an ending with is getting ready to chase you, Leo. But the person who wants it to be ended is because they've been burned. But the other person is going to come back. They haven't healed. They're on, they're on some sneaky business. But they feel like it had to do with third parties. And they don't want you to go out and find someone new. At the bottom of the deck, that, that be careful this person's devilish trouble follows them. They might come across as being very tempting, but... Yep, you need to stay closed off. Somebody is not emotionally available. They're distracted and they still hurt from the past. So somebody wants to come in and be sneaky to get this person back. And the other person is just really still closed off from it. So Leo, it looks like y'all see what's going on. Y'all know who this is. You know who you know who it is. And you know what this person has done to you. You know what they've been sneaky about or what they're trying to come to you and uh, do. You know. Okay, let's get your money message, Leo. Then we're going to pull just a couple of kippers to see how the rest of the week will go, okay? What's going on with Leo's money, spirit? Sun, moon, and rising. What's going on? Let me like this. Got my incense. going on with Leo's money, sun, moon, and rising. In, yeah. What does Leo need to expect for money this week? Three cards. Leadership. Some of y'all are getting ready to step into the role of a leader, so get ready. Your career will improve once you accept and step into your power. Step into your power, shaking up your crown. Y'all know, Leos, y'all are, you know, y'all are the sun car, honey. It's the sun likes to beam on you, Leo. Y'all know y'all like a lot of attention. This is another reason y'all could listen. Straighten up your crown, Leo. Y'all are the king of the jungle. That's what they say. You know that lion. So go ahead, step into your power, Leo. Leo, that is right up your alley to step into your power. You're, uh, you, some of y'all need, don't follow the crowd. Don't have a fear of putting yourself out there. Y'all are supposed to be the lead, leaders. You know you're supposed to be a leader if you're a Leo. Y'all like attention. Y'all are powerful. Y'all, y'all are leaders. You meant to lead. You're meant to lead. Some of you guys would need to use your voice. And that's the only thing that's holding you back is your inability to speak your truth. You got to start speaking up, Leo. Y'all are leaders. And is a lion ever afraid to be a lion? Absolutely not. No, absolutely not. Use your voice. It could be very lucrative. Um, speak your truth. Whether you're, you know, some of y'all need to do some stuff with communication. Windfall is in. <sighs> Windfall is here. It came out in reverse, but money is currently in a positive cycle. There's nothing to worry about. Okay. It doesn't matter. Even if you think that this, I don't think that this is meant to be negative for y'all. Some of y'all are getting ready to get some unexpected money or some sort of pay raise. Spend your money wisely. Make sure your head and your heart are aligned. That's really what it's trying to say. Just make sure that when this money comes in, that your head and your heart are aligned because spirit don't want you to, to mess up your money. Okay, don't mess up your money, Leo. And then here, retail. Some of y'all are getting ready to get more opportunities by starting a retail business, selling products or services. If you got an idea in, in mind, you got the green light to go for it. And at the top of the day, I told you that when I was supposed to be up, right? Because some of y'all are getting ready to move in right into stability, baby. You are stable. You will be stable and very prosperous. You will make stability a top priority and you will commit yourself to consistency. That is the only thing that's stopping you, Leo. Some of y'all got to just be consistent. Y'all are stars, baby. I'm telling you, y'all are leaders. All y'all got to do is be consistent. Go on, Leo. All right. Listen, if there is any type of lack of stability in your life, you can handle it. You got this. You got this, Leo. I told y'all. Look, y'all. It is so good. I love when spirit doubles back to make it all make sense. So all of this goes back to the spiritual message. So if you missed it, go back and watch it. And if you don't go this far, then hey, baby, it wasn't meant for you. That is wonderful. I am so excited for you, Leo. 
Y'all have what it takes to be stable. Y'all getting ready. I told y'all, y'all was getting ready to move into a position of power. All you had to do was believe in yourself. That sun card. See, y'all came out in y'all spiritual message because that was Leo. Y'all came out. Y'all are ready. Y'all are ready. You have everything you need to step into your position of power. I am so excited, Leo. Y'all don't even know how excited that makes me. So let's get some kippers. Let's see what... What does the rest of the week hold for my Leos? So y'all got a, a, a crazy ex that want to come back. <laughs> they might still be toxic. And on that, and on the wrong note, look out for that crazy toxic ex that came out in the love read. They ain't changed. You need to let this continue to be over. You need to continue to let that be over. Okay? So if you don't see that coming, you've been warned. Tasha warned you. You can't say you didn't know. Dang. Such and such show did call me this week. Mm -hmm. Drop it in the comments if they call you. I know they will. Spirit boy. I love when spirit gets the spirit in boy. <laughs> Leo, I love y'all message today. It has brought me. Man, I just feel good reading y'all today. All right. What does uh, Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising have to look forward to for the rest of the week, spirit? Let's see. What Kipper message do you have? Uh-oh, somebody, living room, uh-oh, what else is going on for Leo for the rest of the week, spirit? Uh-oh, y'all better be careful, somebody might be trying to get away with something when it comes to you and your fortune, somebody tried to take something from you. A theft, because theft is here with great fortune. So somebody was about to get some, this is somebody who was close to you too. Somebody that you allowed into your intimate space. Somebody is trying to take something from you that you are close to. You you have, you have deal with this person and you they've been to your house. They've been in your living room. They've been in a very, this is somebody that you was intimate with. Somebody that you was intimate with thinks that they're about to get away with something by taking some sort of fortune from you. Oh, yep. This is somebody who you had an ending with. This is also, let me see. Hold on a second. Um, just cut the TV on. I'll be out in just a minute. Um, this is somebody who is in their head about you. They're depressed. They're overthinking. They. This is somebody who probably sabotaged the relationship. And they're, they're in a sense of, they're not, they're, they're going through something. And they see, look, did you about to have it, honey, with this good gentleman? This is somebody who is an older person, uh, probably a man, or it could be a female. But this is somebody who is a kind, uh, mature person. This is somebody who's wise. It's normally very supportive. This is somebody who is always in that boss energy. Told y'all, Leo, y'all be bosses, bosses, leaders. This is somebody who is normally like a fatherly or motherly figure here. This is somebody who has money. But somebody is coming in. They think that they're getting ready to take some from you, honey. And it's but they are in their feelings because a uh, relationship is over. Give me just three more cards and we're gonna wrap it up. Yep, house. This is somebody you used to be married to, that you used to be intimate with, that you used to live with, that you used to share a home with. Yeah. They gonna act look, they might even come to you with a gift to ring you back in. Somebody is getting ready to come in with some sort of offer, uh, give you some attention. Some, they might give you a gift. They might just, the gift might just be to talk up your head and build you up, Leo. You know how sometimes people come up and they want to offer you all kinds of compliments, but they own some sneaky business. Yeah, this is somebody who is very heavily got you on their mind. They are obsessively thinking about you and your money. Damn, Leo, what y'all got going on? But it did say y'all had a one a windfall. Then in, in the money message, some of y'all about to have a, a windfall. And look, at the bottom of the deck, this is making somebody sad. Honey, sad news is here. Yep. I can't even make it up. I can't even make it up. Somebody is sad about you getting this money. Some sort of windfall. I'm telling you. This is making somebody depressed. They are sad and they are trying to figure out a way to get to you to get some. Kipper, fortune telling cards. Y'all better listen. Y'all listening. Somebody is sad because you got an opportunity. If that ain't some. 
Listen, collective, we got to do better, y'all. That's sad. How you going to be mad that somebody else is getting something? Don't you realize that God can do the same thing in your life if only you had faith? Jeez. And you know what? You know what? Y'all, y'all got to forgive me. I got to, I have to say this. It is amazing to me how people can have relationships with spirit. Many spirits say they got a relationship with God, the almighty, and you are mad because somebody else gets something. If you had faith, don't you know what God did for me? God could do for you. How you work with all this and you and, and you got to take it from somebody? You're going to be sad that somebody else is getting this opportunity. Like you didn't miss out on something. What's wrong with you? What is wrong with people? Leo, you better watch whoever this is. Because they ain't about the right and they clearly then lost their marbles. You want to take from me. You want to take my blessing that God gave me. You want to be sad that God is giving me this when God can do the same thing in your life. How do you, and then people say, I believe in God. I believe in spirit. I'm spiritual. I, I have it. And then you turn around and want to take it from somebody. Mm. Sound like you need to start over because clearly you ain't got it. If you got, if somebody got to take it from you, and they say they got faith, they a liar. Leo, watch this person. Whoever this crazy nutto ex of yours that wants to come back to steal your stability, spirit and I already, I, 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 no. Protect yourself, Leo. Stand in your power. You know what to do. When you step into that emperor energy, you know what to do. Don't let no crazy person take from you. The same God that, that helps you could help them. And if they take him from you, and depending on how close you are with the divine, you might get your, some of y'all, I'm going to warn you, you might get your ass handed to you. You think you're going to take somebody else's blessing because what God says, you can't override that. So you might want to watch out. Don't play with Leo. Don't play with Leo because it sounds like Leo, you don't know what's working with Leo. So y'all better watch it. Whoever's cross-watching, Leo, if this is you that's on this type of time, knock it off. Because y'all, like, this is getting crazy out here in these streets. People is crazy. Crazy. I want to steal from you. Uh, I'm mad God gave it to you. I'm going to come and try to trick you and get me some. You wasting your time. You need to go take time like Leo did and take time because they was working on their spiritual awakening. And therefore, that might be why they're stepping into this position of power. Maybe you need to take the same time that Leo did. Hello, cross watcher. I'm talking to you. Or Leo, if this is you on this type of time, you got to work on yourself. I, I don't know what's going on with y'all. Like it went from cool and I was real happy. Cause, but this last little part right here, this is like, I don't like that. I don't like that. But on that note, Leo, thank you for joining me here on I Am The Light. Sorry, y'all. I got a little excited there to, uh, towards the end. Please hit that like, share, and subscribe. <laughs> and thank you for joining me here on I Am The Light. Go be a positive light out in the world, y'all. Leo, whatever you doing, baby, keep doing it. You got haters out in these streets, and some of them are your exes, and you going to have a lot of options, and who cares? You right, put your crown on, straighten up, and strut, baby. Okay? All right. Bye-bye.